Fuck me, you Fuck me, fucking cunt. Oi! That was EMI by the Sex Pistols, their homage. No, they're, they're actually slating of EMI who signed them. I'll see what, Russ? And that, then. Uh, that is horrible, that drink. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, why don't you get your fat carcass in a car, go down and buy your own fucking drink? Diet Cherry Coke. Oh. There's an idea for you. It's fucking nasty. Get in the car, go down and buy your own no, fucking it's drink. That's a bit horrible. Good. You are horrible. Yeah. And before that, we had "You Stole the Sun from My Heart" by uh, the Manic Street Preachers. Uh, we and Gab were talking this afternoon about the Sex Pistols, and we yeah. were saying, "Do you think is there another band mm. that has, you know, still, you know, still talked about, and they only made one album? Can you mm. think of any other band that made one album and is still?" No. Um, there is there. Um. What, a band that made one album? But it's still... There's plenty of bands that made one album, but not... Zig Zig Sputnik? <laughs> <laughs> well, Zig Zig Sputnik was supposed to be like the new Sex Pistols, yeah, wasn't they, they when they yeah. come out? Except they were shit. Oh. Except they were utterly, utterly, utterly butter. Was, was their record? Was it? Oh, I can't fucking remember what their record what was. What was it called? Oh, you know, it, was... it was fucking shit, it I know that. awful, yeah. Uh, there was no other band, now. Just one album they made, yeah. one studio album. One studio album, yeah. And it was probably still one of the most famous bands in the world. Yeah. When still... you talk about punk, you talk about the Sex Pistols. Yeah. You rarely talk about any. Uh, you do. The Clash. You talk about the Clash. You talk about a little bit of. Um, what was it? Was he Generation X? What was he? Yeah, it's Billy Idol. The Damned, maybe. The Damned. A little bit. Um, but... Yeah, but. It's always tries to clash in the Sex Pistols. Yeah, and the Sex Pistols first. Yeah, the Sex Pistols first. Yeah. The clash to me, the Clash were more, you know, the they musical, were more of a musical band, yeah. more of a rock band. No, they, they, they dabbled with soul and yeah. a little bit of funk. Funk. I mean, the rock. Sex Pistols. That's just just out and out punk. Wasn't out it? and out punk. They didn't make any uh, bones about it. He was the perfect, perfect front man for it. You just couldn't have imagined. He was gold dust. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I mean, Malcolm McLaren must have rubbed his hands. Oh. But then, then he got because he was quite intelligent. Johnny, Johnny, Ly John Lydon. Oh, yeah, yeah. He started challenging McLaren, didn't he? And yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Very intelligent. Yeah. Uh, John Lydon, very, very. Intelligent. He wasn't no, you know, Sid wasn't intelligent by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> Sid was a murderer. Well, yeah. <laughs> He was that. He was that in the end, wasn't he? He was that in the end. He, he was, nah, he was I, pretty I, unstable before that. I, I still love Sid. You can't help but... I can't help love, love can't Sid. Can't help but love Sid. Can't help but love him. Can you? Really? No. That one in the, the last gig in, uh, as we discovered this afternoon, in the Winterland, San Francisco, where Johnny Rotten said, have you ever got the, ever got the idea you've been cheated? And Sid smacked somebody in the face with, a, with his bass. <laughs> Probably the best sound he ever made out of that bass guitar. Yeah. <laughs> he couldn't play that bass. <laughs> no, that was so great about it, though. Yeah, brilliant. That was so great about Malcolm McLaren. Malcolm McLaren made a, made a couple of good records. Yeah. Buffalo Girls. Really? Eh? Buffalo Girls. Yeah, really good. How really? long was my blackout last night? Uh, we had a blackout in Faden Boys last night. People who listen in uh, anywhere in the world don't know where Faden Boys is. <laughs> uh, this is more out of the stick than we are. We had a blackout for about an hour and a half, it was, something like that. I was, um, was mid-wenk, actually. And I was, oh, yeah. Most, most put out by it. Terms, yeah. Most put out by it. I was thinking of marching down to the electricity company, cocking hand, saying, Oi, that's not going to fucking have it. That's not times... going to have it, is it? You don't know how many times, mate, I've been in here. Oh, a few years ago. Mid-wenk, fucking Charlie on the side there. All lovely, ready for me to go, and clunk. The fucking place went, go with just complete blackness. You couldn't get in front of a torch. It was fucking terrible. Completely ruined my night. I was there, ready for the wake, and Charlie, and oh, it was all going to be so good. So I had to, get a, I had to go down there, because it was pitch blackness in the garden, fucking get matches, come back up here, look around with the. Oh, search for the gear. Yeah. Fucking, fucking terrible. Murder. Well, I wasn't like that last night, I've got to be honest with you. 
Steve Jones is a ledge, yep. Steve Jones, Paul Cook, Glenn Matlock, they're all legends. They're all legends, mate. Oh. All the ones in the Sex Pistols. Oh, fuck yeah. All ledge. All legends, pal. Yeah. I mean, I, you and know, we were together for the immortal slagging off. On the ITV with... Uh, yeah, Bill Grundy. With Bill. Never worked again, did he? Well, he never worked again. I can't, I can't Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah what's, what's another swear word then? Go on, keep going. You oh. fucker! <laughs> you miserable, you fucking... Pussy. What a fucking rotter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Terrible, really. What Susie C was in that, in, was one of the girls there that night, that day. Who? Susie C from Susie and the Banjis. Oh, was she there? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. That, that was before, uh, before, um, that was before, uh, Sid Vicious was in it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was the first time they were appearing on television, wasn't it? Yeah. Fantastic. Hold on. Oh, yeah, go on. Uh, oh, dear. I'll tell you what I'll play. Play. I'll just. Yeah, go down, 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 down. No, 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 I don't want that yet. Down, 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 down. That one, that one, that, no, down, that one. I'm gonna, this is, um, this is an unusual, I heard it on the telly the other day. It's uh, a folk, an old American folk singer, Pete Seeger. Pete Seeger, yeah. Uh, you know, he's very respected, but Dylan loved him, Springsteen loved him. In fact, Springsteen done an album a few years ago called The Seeger Sessions. Oh, yeah. Um, and uh, I heard this song, and I just love the words of this song. It's an old folk song, so, you know. Yeah, it's not going to be to everybody's taste, but just listen to the words. Just listen to the fucking words. It's very quick, but just listen to the words of it, you fucks. What did you learn in school today, dear little boy of mine? What did you learn in school today, dear little boy of mine? I learned that Washington never told a lie. I learned that soldiers seldom die. I learned that everybody's free. That's what the teacher said to me. That's what I learned in school today. That's what I learned in school. What did you learn in school today, dear little boy of mine? What did you learn in school today, dear little boy of mine? I learned that policemen are my friends. I learned that justice never ends. I learned that murderers die for the crimes, even if we make a mistake sometime. And that's what I learned in school today. That's what I learned in school. What did you learn in school today, dear little boy of mine? What did you learn in school today, dear little boy of mine? I learned our government must be strong It's always right and never wrong Our leaders are the finest men And we elect them again and again And that's what I learned in school today That's what I learned in school What did you learn in school today, dear little boy of mine? What did you learn in school today, dear little boy of mine? I learned that war is not so bad. I learned about the great ones we have had. We fought in Germany and in France, and someday I might get my chance. And that's what I learned in school today. That's what I learned in school. Very good. Very good, Russ. It's a very good song. Yeah. The bit about the government must be trusted, and it's just yeah. very clever. We just elect them again and again. Yeah, yeah, we elect them again and again, and it's true, and we're still doing it. That was that was recorded in 1962. Oh, was it really? Yeah, and we're still doing it, <laughs> and we're still fucking doing it. We are still doing it. We don't learn, do we? Mind you, we've got to put in. You? Well, I'll go in, but... I'd like to see you go, and here's, here's an address of, from the Prime Minister, John Sperling. Yes, my... <laughs> Come on, somebody poke you with a fucking stick. Oh, ah, oh, yes, yeah, sorry, what? No, I wasn't asleep. No, no, I wasn't asleep. I wasn't asleep. I wasn't asleep. Anyway, 
Yes, these are very grave times for our country. What did you learn in school today? What did you learn in school? Yeah, that's what they said, you dirty old man. That's what they said to Bill Grundy. That's right. You dirty old man. You dirty fucker. Uh, yeah, one of them said that, and then I think one of the girls said to him, you dirty old man, because he said something to one of the girls. Oh, that's right. <laughs> he quite looked at the girls. He had a little flirt with them until they started getting abusive. <laughs> He was a horrible, he was a horrible looking man. He looked like what he was, a sneaky little fucker. <laughs> Do you know he was a sneaky Because he looked like it. I always thought Bill Grundy looked like a sneaky little fucker. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, because you're a cunt, that's yeah. why. What did you learn in school, though? I learned that my cock's four foot long. Yeah. If, you, if that's what you've learned. I've had a good day. No, I knew that years ago. Well, yeah, dude, ask me. Yeah, but I wanted to hear it. I heard it from my teacher. She was sucking it at the time. Oh, what? Don't be daft. I'm not daft, I'm telling the Your truth. Your teacher? Lovely. Who's she look like? You. Big tits. Yeah, you. Oh. What did you learn in school today? What did you learn I won't stop fucking seeing that. I will not stop seeing that now. It's the mark of a good song, isn't it? Are you going to play that or not? What? Were well, you just lined up? Oh yeah, I'll chill the chat. Well, you fall asleep. Some of the small faces, a young, hot group, quirky, hot meat, and very successful. Tonight there are guests in Calumny Park. And here's one of the new ones. It's on other day. You've got the fucking mic on, you freak. Oh, let me...
The Small Faces are Steve Marriott, lead singer and guitarist, Ronnie Lane, bass guitarist, Kenny Jones, drummer, and Ian McLagan, organist. Uh, the Small Faces' new album is...